Hey folks, thanks for clicking on this video. I hope you are well. Please sit down and get comfy. Um, I had done a video back in January, and it was my more recent pickups, the books I picked up. And I had every intention of doing a regular uh, video, be it weekly, be it bi-weekly. Just kind of like a read and recap, you know, recent reads, all that kind of stuff. Any pickups and what's going on. Just, just through my own kind of need to document kind of what I'm doing for my own sanity. It didn't happen what for one reason or the other. Through sickness, colds, flus, within the family, it's been, it's, it hasn't been great. And I'm in a bit of a reading slum too, but I'll get to that later on. Again, I changed my name to Philly's Fiction. The idea being, I'm going to talk about books, potentially some games, and potentially some TV shows. But I've read very little, I've played very little, I've watched very little. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> I'm going to try my best going forward. Some of the YouTube channels I do watch mainly focus focusing on the booktube community, even though I read comics. I, I do enjoy those videos. And you've got Mike's book reviews, you've got um, the guy, oh, what's his name? The guy who breaks the spines on Instagram. I always thought he was a bit of a plunker at the start. Uh, books are sick. That's the guy. Um, his videos, and they literally just come in every week and talk about what they're reading, what they picked up, anything comes to mind, and, and that's what I want to do. I, I don't need bells and whistles, I don't want fancy intros, I don't want fancy B-roll. This is just what it's going to be. It's me talking, that's what I want to do. And even though i done that haul video back in January, and I didn't do anything for weeks, I was, I thought, oh, that's... that's YouTube pipe dream that's gone on. There's no point doing it anymore. There's no point doing it if you're not going to do it every week or every so often. And I watched a video from a girl called Barb's Bookland, who is another Northern Ireland YouTuber, very much in the booktube community. And she had a bit of a, a reading reset. And that kind of inspired me to do this now too, because I find myself in the same position. Do you ever get overwhelmed with like your TBR? I've got so many books on the shelves, I've got so many books stacked here that you can't see. I've got stuff coming out soon I want to buy and read. I'm, I just find myself almost like not reading any because I'm getting overwhelmed with it. And I call, myself, I call it a reading slump because I can't seem to get the motivation to get through it. And I'm trying to change that. And it starts now. I have been focusing a lot on my single issues, on my, on my pull list. And, you know, Batman and Spider-Man whilst aren't great currently and they have been in a few years they're just they're meandering along nicely they're okay they're keeping me entertained transformers by daniel warren johnson it has been very good although i worry about that book going forward just because he's now leaving the art to somebody else he's still continuing writing the story i do have a concern that it's an ongoing series daniel warren johnson everything i've loved of his has always been limited and he always delivers. Full of emotion, full of action. He really hits you hard sometimes. But can you continue that on with an ongoing series? We're going to find out. But I, I do have... What's that? Question marks. I'm apprehensive about where that's going. But I've re I'm really enjoying it at the minute. Um, definitely recommend it. And like I say, pull this wise, everything's just meandered along. It's alright. Nothing overly special. One book that has been on my um, radar for quite a while has been Neuromancer, which is part of the Sprawl trilogy by William Gibson. Um, so yeah, I thought, I'm going to read that. And I, I, I looked it up on YouTube and I watched a few videos and some guys were saying, start off with the short stories first. Even though they came after the original book, just start off with that, get you a taste of the kind of, you know, the world, the kind of style of writing, what, what they expect, so to speak. So I did, I picked up, I picked it up first, and it is Burning Chrome, collects the 10 short stories. Again, me thinking they're short, I'll get through them quickly. I didn't, it took longer than I thought. Trying to go over that slump, um, almost have to force it. Some of the stories in here are not good. Some of them are okay. The thing I find with this kind of sci-fi, cyberpunk 
whatever you want to call it. It's like they're not. It's a short story. They don't have time to tell you a lot about a character. They don't have time to kind of build any kind of world. They're just telling you how it is, and you have to accept it, which is okay. I, I get it. But like, there's a, a story here. It's the Johnny. Johnny. I can never pronounce this. Let's see. Johnny. Mnemonic. Mnemonic. Is that a silent M or silent N? Or the one with the Kenny Reeves movie from like the nineties. So that story, if I remember correctly, there's like a scene where he goes into like the, a club or into uh, whatever. And he goes to visit this guy who's built to be this kind of wise person, you know, for advice. And it turns out like it's a shark in a tank who communicates by like headlights <laughs> on the wall, and you just have to accept it. <laughs> like it's it's, it's it's daft. As for the other stories, there's nothing overly great. I think, if I remember that correctly, New Rose Hotel was decent enough. Um, the Gar Gar Gardens by Continuum, but they're not great. They're okay. It hasn't puppy off Neuromancer. However, you'd think you read this, then you go into Neuromancer. I didn't. I went to the library with my kids, and we go every month. And they pick up a few books and they read it and they enjoy it. Kind of like what, like what I did when I was a kid. I don't generally look for myself uh, within the library, but I happened to walk by the Stephen King section. And they had three fresh copies of Pet Cemetery. So I just thought, I'll, I'll grab it. I've got it for three weeks. I'll, I'll read it and I'll be fine. And I've started it. Not that much into it, only about 13, 14 chapters, 14 chapters in. And um, really slow getting through it, but I'm actually really enjoying it. All we have now, we have the the Creed family has moved into somewhere. The dad, Louis, has a job in the university, he's a doctor. And they live next door to the Crandalls, and they went for a big walk. They found this pet cemetery, it's going back like 100 years. Um, and on his first day within his university he had to deal with a real tragic incident where this pupil um, had his head caved in or something like that and basically started talking to him about the pet cemetery so now he's creeped out and that's where I'm at the minute really enjoy it, really fun so far I'm hopefully it's more horrific as we go on I want a good scare so really enjoying that but as for reading that's my disappointment that's where I'm at it's not a lot I'm, I know you, sh you shouldn't strive to read 10 books a month. I understand the, the concept of not having to do that. But I'm really struggling to get into like, bigger books. Within the Omnibus stuff, I want to continue on with the Captain America Ed Brubaker. I want to continue on with the Ultimate Spider-Man series. I've got metal and death metal I want to get into. Loads of Batman stuff I want to get into. But I'm really struggling to pick them up. Do you ever have this... I don't know, mental block, this reading slump. Like, what do you do? Do you read certain books, reread certain books? Any books you can recommend, even if they're not kind of comics or prose books, even if they're like self help books? Is there something you would recommend to help get over a slump that I find myself in? Even just an example of what you've done in the past, because I think everyone kind of has this, this issue. Um, but I'm hoping to do this more to, to spur me on, essentially. So stay tuned for more, more of this. <laughs> so thanks very much. Anyway, um, I have a small haul to, to present, so I'll, I'll record it next and get, a, get that out. That's at least two videos you're going to get guaranteed from me. But then I want to do this every week, like a check-in. Like I say, I watch Mike's big book reviews. I watch uh, Books Are Sick. There's other guys who do like reading, weekly reading vlogs. I'm not doing a vlog. I've done that in the past. I'll do that again. But that's the idea. I, I like that kind of stuff. And I'm going to do it for here. So um, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching this. Thanks for sticking by me. Please stick your recommendations down below. If there's a book that you can recommend to help me get over a slump. Or anything you've read. Or any, tic, any tip, ticks, ticks, tips or techniques. Um, just to get over yourself essentially. To get back into reading habit. But thanks very much. Appreciate your time. Look after your head. Look after yourself. Be safe. Be good. And I'll catch you later.